This slide begins a new section on independent random variables. So far we've defined the bivariate random variables which can be called x and y or can be called x1 and x2 and we've looked at their distribution f of xy we've looked at their CDF capital F of xy we've looked at the marginal distribution for x and looked at the marginal distribution for y and then finally we've looked at the conditional distribution for x given y and the conditional distribution for y given x. So the next thing we're going to do here is define independent random variables and just as way back in chapter 2 independence was defined for two events now independence can be defined for two random variables. Here's the intuition if the value of x does not affect the distribution of y and if the value of y does not affect the distribution of x then x and y are independent random variables. Here is the formal definition let the random variables x and y which can be either discrete or continuous random variables have a joint distribution described by f of xy and again that is code for saying if the random variables are discrete then f of x, y is a joint probability mass function. If x and y are continuous, then f of x, y is a joint probability density function. And it has marginal distributions described by f, x of x and f, y of y. The random variables x and y are independent, and that's what's being defined here. If and only if f of x, y is the product of the marginal distributions for all real values x and y. So here are some factoids about independence. First of all, if random variables are not independent, then they are called dependent random variables. Second, some authors like the term stochastically independent because the word independent means some other things. For example, in uh, mechanical engineering, the word independent might mean something other than the independence that we are defining here. You can formulate independence in terms of cumulative distribution functions by saying the joint cumulative distribution function is equal to the product of the marginal cumulative distribution functions, and that is a second way of defining independence. The next one, for x and y to be independent, the support of their joint distribution must be a product space. Geometrically, a product space is a rectangle in the xy coordinate space, possibly with infinite edge lengths. If the support of x and y is not a product space, then one can conclude immediately that x and y are dependent random variables. However, if the support of x and y is a product space, then one can conclude that x and y might be independent variables. The next thing you need to do is you need to take a look at the uh, uh, joint distribution and see if it is the product of the marginal, marginals, either using cumulative distribution functions or lowercase f of x, y. This definition extends to more than two random variables, although it is important to differentiate between pairwise and mutually independent. 